description. <laughs> All right, let's do the thing. Okay, a lot over on that side. Okay, and a bit over here too. It's not bad. It's actually okay. It's it's a pretty pretty favorable setup. Lots of lots of bulkies as as you do. It's gonna be it's gonna be all bulkies all the time from here on out. I reckon. Ah, uh, wow, just a lot of. Why? Oh, this guy's still in the mist. Now, because he's in the mist, I think technically he can't stun the turn that he enters. So we could we could stand here and be okay. But I don't think I'm gonna don't think I'm gonna science that one too hard. But I, I do think that, that bulkies cannot stun the turn that they enter. And so that might be of interest. Oh, no. Uh, there was an elite hiding back here. I'm going to slow him down a lot, I think. Because I'm going to stand over here, but I... And then I think also the this Lancer is just needs to get out of here so so this is uncontested now you misty blocker is a little annoying i think we we do that to completely stop him this one's going to be a bit of a like an an upper an in and out type operation is this, this is an elite guy too crikey they really threw all the elites at us in the in the first like 10 seconds of this thing didn't they So let's see. So you, you you can pretty much, I think, start transferring over this way. We can we have plenty of skill range to shoot like back over our shoulder back this way, so we don't need to do anything more. Uh I might I might try and get this with you next turn. Get three turns of use. I'll just do that, and then I'll just zap that guy. Uh, what do you have uh, for go-to omens? These are, this is a pretty standard build for me. Advanced training, dexterity, siege, engineering, bargaining, leaps, and scavenging, where leaps is, is more of a flex slot for me. But, uh, yeah. That's the... And then you have insane range, so... So if you, if you went back a little bit like this way, I could probably do this and then no quick reload here is kind of a bummer So you're you're not coming all the way in anymore. That wait a second. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I was like, why this guy's movement looks really odd. It's not actually odd. Hey Sam, welcome back. And then I think I'll just poke that guy for a little extra armor. Okay, but you're good. You're good on that one. I think you're you're gonna do this one. Okay, we're gonna leave some in the middle here, I think, for the moment. But I think we're we're okay. When the ballistas kill that elite, love it. All right. Now, I, this was what I was slightly concerned about. The oh wow, this bulky blocking this is energetic boomer. Well, well, well. All right, so this is definitely happening. Oh, I hate that that's a f that these are forfers too. Oh, 
That guy's gonna be annoying to kill for sure. Uh, what are you? You're another mage? Damn. That's unfortunate. This energetic boomer is is going to be just a real a real so and so, I think. I think I need to kill the boomer though. I don't think I get to uh I don't think I get to do that any other way. So let me let me see how how much work we can do here. Where, where were the crits? That's what I want to know. There's so many elites. Holy smokes. How far can you move back? Okay, I think it's worth doing that just to slow that guy down. And then, oh, he's still coming too far in. All right. Okay, so we have to do that. And then before we move back, I think we drink our other energy potion. And uh, don't put any on them, I don't think. This guy is going to cause problems. How, how much is he moving right now? So he's going to move up. He's going to block some vision. So I think... I think we need to, like, just... We're going to have enough elites hanging around that we may need to take this guy down a peg or two. Wait, is that the metal that confers block to self and close allies for hit? Uh, no, that that is uh, what you're seeing there. That proc is is heart of the party. Every 200 damage inflicted is plus three armor. That's what you're seeing there. Uh, do we need? I wanted to take care of this, but I don't think this is the turn for it. I think we're just gonna have to wait because I I do think that that this uh, this guy here is is problematic enough that we gotta kill him so that we don't have the misty thing to deal with. The, the game really uh, really stacked on the uh, the pain a little bit on this on this one it seems um, yeah so those are gonna be handy tech subscribing with the prime thank you so much handy appreciate you. Uh, then this elite hopper needs to get slowed down too, I think. And then just the bat because it's annoying, I think. Um, but yeah, this this night did not uh, did not start off very chill, did it? Thank you, Ballistas. Heck yeah, Handy Tech. I'm so glad you found it useful. I uh, I try. I, I try to provide useful content. All right, let's see. So this this could be a turn to get rid of this guy. This this warrior is also so in our face right now. Ugh. Okay, 
So we're going to get rid of the warrior. Um, okay, so... What are you up to? I think you... I don't think I even worry about these down here. I don't think that's a huge deal. This bulky... If we can, if we can pop them, I'll probably do it. And then, then I'm trying to think if there's like some some transfer options here. I don't really think there are. Uh, I, I do kind of think we need to take out this elite hopper. I'm I'm all sad. I'm killing a lot of elites outside of uh, the confines of our base, but it's like I also don't feel like there's a huge number of options for how we how we play this alternately. Okay, and then if I go over here, I think I'll grab this one with our momentum hero next time. Boomer is coming in dangerously close. We got more hoppers than sense. Um, just put the, put the poison on the, on this winged so that maybe it gets separated from the rest of its crew. And then you have a full turn, eh? Boomer is making it in and is kind of landing in a good place. I think we... We potentially slow him down. Hopper, Hopper's just going to be a next turn problem. I think that's fine. Uh, but then... Move to here. I think we're going to get tossed and do this next time. We, we're going to need a transfer to make it all happen also. But I think... The, the panic that we're taking is down here. Do you have? You have you have some spare stuff. So if I do like a, you've done some stuff. Yeah. Okay. So we can. Kinda, kinda digging Shower of Blows, not gonna lie about it. There's something to it. Right, I don't think we're getting, I don't think we're getting stunned by anyone. I think we're, we're in decent shape here. That, that elite hopper over there came way closer than I was expecting it to. Um... <laughs> My wall! I just built that. Everything here is optimal. Everything here is optimal. Let's let's get rid of the giant poison that you just received. Uh, okay, so I, I was like, okay, let's let's start with let's start with you. hate that you have all this momentum charged up. I, I think we're probably going to use some transfers to get you 
to the point where you can at least hopefully ice this guy. Yeah, because that, that gives you... Oh, hold on. And then we can do we can do that and move one more tile and I guess finish this guy off. I think that was worth. Now you... I'm really tempted to go get this. Yeah, you have teleport scrolls. This is going to be a little bit... A little bit spicy given the, the current look of the battlefield, but... Oh, and you don't have enough. You didn't you didn't get there. You didn't do the thing. Okay, now you did the thing. That that felt more expensive than I think I was imagining it would be. <laughs> I don't I don't know that that was necessarily the play. Cuz I, I don't like that you are out of movement now. But I, I do think we have... Actually, hold on. Let me... I'm going to teleport you to here instead. Okay, our momentum hero has gone as far as they can go. You, you get to do some killing. You, I think... Are going to focus on... Why are there so many elites? So, weird question. But I don't remember... I remember Elderlicht having a fair amount of elites. I'm not sure I remember Elderlicht having this many elites. It seems like a lot of elites. That not dying was annoying. Okay, so it looks like... It looks like the hopper might die. But... Well, we do have, we do have more actions here, except I don't have range. You don't have you don't have range to get them either. Ugh. Cause over here this all looks relatively fine. Seems on par with expectations. No, they definitely include wave size. Uh, I think. I think I'll just stop this guy from moving too far. And then you're making me a little nervous. You do have 300 armor though, so maybe it's not it's not terrible. Everything is not completely terrible. You need to move at least one tile over just in case that boomer makes it in. All right, I think everything is relatively okay. This over here I think is going to get dealt with relatively easily. I guess we can ship this guy down. I, I think I could kill him if I if I wanted to. We've already killed three. Yeah, we're going to be killing three elites in there in here. I think we can just we can just ice all these fools. You can only get three elite corpses, in case anyone was like, what, what's going on? Why is he doing the things that he's doing? That is the reason. 
No, I, I don't think so. I think I just... I, I do think this was a lot of elites. And I, I don't fully remember Night 9 being, like, 15 elites. But... Maybe, maybe it was, and I'm just, uh, I'm just not remembering. Yes, yeah, you can only get three, so there's no, there's no value in going any further with that. Okay, but at least we got all the ghosts out of the way. Isn't that something? <laughs> Alright, let's have, let's have our, our resident momentum hero do... Do some some spring cleaning here. That that is after all what they're good for. There's no boom value to be gotten from here, so I think I'll just do the the over the shoulder that away. Okay, almost got the job done. Feeling feeling pretty good about that. I think this boomer can get or this bulky can get slowed down. Why waste moment momentum on the Lancer? You could have killed the Lancer with the hand crossbow. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. I, I think I was just a little fixated on it being an elite. So I was like, eh, let's make sure it gets dead. But you're right. I could have uh, I could have probably spent that more effectively. I do think I'm just going to take this guy out. Because he's highly likely not to die to the, uh, to the Ballista. And then he's going to, like, chunk down some part of my base. Now, are we safe over here? Relatively. Yeah, I think I can, I can go back to, to being greedy. Yes, everything is optimal here. If you if you question the optimality of the play, you will uh, you will meet a terrible fate, or something. I don't know. These are idle threats, to say the least. But we cleared that up. Oh my gosh, more freaking elites. It is it is the night of the thousand elites. You're moving to here. Oops. You're moving to here, which is a plains tile. You're moving to here, which is also a plains tile. So we need to let both these guys go in. We're gonna have enough corpses though, right? Yeah, we're gonna have enough corpses. Let's well, maybe we'll do them last. I'll just do this. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of AP. Well, but I probably have transfers, right? Oh, but I'm also out of slow deaths. Hmm. I don't want to get... I don't want to get poisoned again, so maybe I'll, like, go like this. And then we have a whole turn with you, so let's see. This guy will die to the ballistas. Yeah, we'll deal with those guys later. Okay, uh, and then Misty's going to be a little annoying. Uh, I'll get him with a hand crossbow next turn. Our sadist, uh, our sadist has not been proccing sadism. That is, uh, that is out of, out of my laziness more than anything else. Oh my corner! The it's because the layers of the layers of suboptimality need to be need to be properly balanced. It's hard to teach that, but it is uh, that is the key.
Actually, hold on. So because this is a arm, oh, he's an armor, not a blocker. So we'll go like boom, 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 boom. I feel like this is the Dos Equis man thing. Like, I don't always play suboptimally, but when I do, dot, dot, dot. Yes, no, no one would watch me play if I was just a machine that played perfectly. They probably would. They'd probably prefer that, let's be honest. But... But it wouldn't be as fun, much fun in chat. Okay, so let's see. So we've... Oh, you're gonna you're gonna ruin my Oh the the mana here? We're gonna have to build some mana wells. That's uh that's a thing that's gonna have to happen. Oh, not again with the poison. That's why we have a single health potion on the squad. <laughs> we need this guy to come in again. We need that guy to come in too. So I don't know why I'm trying to farm up mountains. It's like the... The chances that we don't get a full complement of corpses is, is, like, laughably low. I think. Yeah. The remaining health pot will go here, but let's, uh... Let's clean this up first. There we go. Up and over. Round the corner. Heal you up. Then this guy. This guy's gonna gonna stun someone if we're not careful. He's moving two. If he gets injured, how much does he move? Now, if we get a stun, it's not the end of the world at this point. We got things under control. Also, do they stun across walls? I don't actually know the answer to that question. Well, I guess we're not going to find out. Alright. Seraphina can get... Seraphina is already full on mana. So no... No point in, in anything. The two that are, are moving are stunned. I mean, it's it's a question of prioritization in Lustrous. Basically, like, do they target the wall or not, I think, is, is the question. And I, I do not know the answer. Our Momentum Hero is starting to get a little spicy. I like what I'm seeing. This is weird. There's one enemy left. It's a bulky. They're poisoned. Why is the City Panic suggesting that it isn't zero? City Panic has always been uh, reactive to poison, right? That looked weird. They don't target the, the wall with a ranged one, though. Thankfully, I have not in Lustrous. That's, that's a good point. It's a bug. I know. I, I'm familiar with those. 
Okay, so this is probably... This is probably the moment where... So we definitely want all three of these. I kind of want to push back the fog once more. Let's do our level ups. 20%, I think you're better off with some ISO. We'll take some damage. And then Geralt over here picks up Shia Pawa. A little crit power, ain't nothing wrong with that. Your accuracy is great. Yeah, your damage could use a little bump. Your your crit is at, is at 69. Nice. And then, so so with these nine remaining. I, I think maybe we greet it on this turn. And then do we go, I think we, do we scavenge or, I think we scavenge for, for the three items at this point. Let's, let's scavenge one for three items and let's look to see what their levels look like right now. So three is across the board. Three is in some fours. Another shower of blows. Now let's look at the armor maker. Fours with some fives. Yeah, so it's basically like one tier up. Now I need to get 420% damage. I'll see what I can do. So I think we... I think we do do the workers. Except I think we stop there. And then the question is, do we push back the fog? It does give us a lot of time. I think just to be on the safe side, I will push back the push back the fog once more. And then with our last one, we can do that there. Okay. So we have a decent amount of stuff. I think we would get more stuff from straight corpse piles in this moment, but it's still good. That's a nice offhand pistol. Well, it's an okay offhand pistol. It's a lot of stun chance there. Those pants are pretty decent. I kind of want to... We're going to pick up another hero. We we upgraded the inn last time. Oh, you are expensive, Arun Dira. You're a cook, wholesome, and cruel. I want a blood mage. So, maybe we buy a few things so that we can, uh, we can sell them and get the level up. Where are all my Where's all my level 5 stuff? Condensed hate is quite good. We'll pick that up, but we're probably not going to sell that. Hello, big game hunter. How are you doing? The metals sell for a lot. Three propagation bounces, two skill range, two movement, ten isolation. Ooh, spicy pair of boots there. I need to come back to big game hunter. We have to see if someone's missing it. I'm looking for chess pieces. They sell the best. Shame that's level four. Have I done the last level of Shopkeeper's Friend? I think I have. Whoops. All right, let's get Urundira in into the mix. Level level twelve hero right out of the gate. The rare momentum dwarf. <laughs> the rare momentum dwarf. The toss me momentum build. I think two momentum heroes on this map is very reasonable. Look to see if you can get an organic armor medal. For for war cry shenanigans. We don't have blessing though. 
Unless you're unless you're thinking about organic armor for a different reason. You you want to do you want to do poisonous blood mage, don't you? You want to do poison, don't you? No? I I'm kind of tempted to go Poison Blood Mage. Here's the here's the question. What's stopping us from going like What's stopping us from going like Momentum Poison Blood Mage? Right, so we have a spear that gives us a momentum attack. And then a sword. I think this build is cracked. Sword, spear, Sam. Or we could go Shield Spear. And if we use the big Game Hunter medal, we save a point that we can put somewhere else. No, no, no. I'm procking Poison with Poisonous. All I have to do is heal up at the end of each turn. By poison, by being in a crowd of things and poisoning them. What do we, what do we pick up if we don't take big Game Hunter? Yes, Dwarf Toss does build momentum. We can we can confirm that though. Yeah, it is a maneuver and it does build momentum. I I think this I think we have a new build potentially here. We're gonna we're gonna try this out. Get ready. This is gonna be spectacular or terrible. There is no in between. Okay, so you are a poison blood mage. <laughs> the PBM. Oh, wait, but your momentum, too. The MPBM. Yes. Brilliant. Think we're going to be garbage with fun? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'll hold off on Big Game Hunter for the moment. So, you are... I did take Bodybuilder, so we... We're definitely going to need some healing received. Wouldn't mind a bit more armor, so that's fine. We do want momentum. We definitely need skill range. So far, the secondary level ups are feeling pretty good. I think we have enough healing now. Our skill range didn't really get there. That would be the that would be the problem, right? Yeah, our skill range only got to two. We need to go higher on skill range. But I do want us to have a little bit of a health pool just in case things get a little dire. Resistance? Yeah, let's get a little bit of resistance. I, I want us we're gonna be taking some hits. Uh oh, we have four movement. I think we do need to think about fixing that a little bit. Should have probably taken the accuracy before, but I mean, you keep giving me action points. I can't say no to them. Do we only take blue movement? I think we might only take blue movement.
Or maybe we take no movement. Fine, I'll take, I'll take some movement. Do we need more block or more health? Maybe more health. All right. Am I taking... I think I, I think I'm just taking the taking big game hunter. I I don't want to tie up a tie up a slot. Maybe big game hunter isn't that important. Uh, it's given that we have so little movement, maybe I'll take blink. Yeah, let's take blink instead. I I think we otherwise that this hero may end up like stranded and unable to move, which I don't really want. Those pants are nice. The, this this is a potential roll. This offhand pistol wasn't looking too bad. The movement on these pants is out of control. Maybe I grab that. Do I have someone that I'm going to put this on? Possibly our, our momentum. Possibly our momentum hero. Just to get them moving. I said we could go shield. And I meant it. Those pants are awfully nice too. We'll grab that. Elven boots with some crit, some poison damage. Yeah, those are decent. That helmet has a lot of health on it, but... Another Shower of Blows amulet doesn't seem too useful. Well, the multi-hit is for the spear, right? The spear still likes still likes uh, multi-hit. The, 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 this is a mess. I'm just getting so many gauntlets. Okay, what's, what's the jewelry offering up? So we got the big game hunter. It's okay. We also have forge master. Eh. The Swift Boots are pretty decent, I think. The Crystal Amulet with the AP on it isn't terrible either. Collateral Damage? We can test it. Alright, I, I will take the Collateral Damage and we will test it. Yeah, but then I was like, I don't think I should disable anything unless I'm doing a, a specific run surrounding them. This scepter might be slightly better than the scepter that we're running on on Radbert. Eh, I think it's it's six of one. Yeah, so so that was part of the part of the vision for this run. Abigail has has informed me that they don't run. Oh, we have two big medals of big game hunter here. I think I'm definitely gonna take these armored boots and I guess I'll take the big game hunter that's over here if push comes to shove I'll, I'll take that one instead it's all it's all streamer luck all the way down always if, if I have learned one thing so let's see so Where's where's our MBM MH whatever? Oh, you have no runic gift. Oh man, that really that really is unfortunate. So if I if we want to run collateral damage, we have to ditch condensed hate. 
We'll we'll do it for science. We'll do it for science. But ultimately, I really wanted to run this pair of armored boots on them. I think that was the that was my vision. Sixty nine crit goes out the window. Do I care about don't move? Oh, actually, oh yeah, I wanted to put this on them too. Man, we have so many good trinkets. This is awful. I'll give you that. For now, we'll give you this shield. I want ten trinkets. Omen of three trinket slots. That would be that would be exciting. I could get down with that. All right, let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And get rid of this. Then I was gonna put. Oh, I was gonna put these pants on you to make you more mobile. Does someone else want the these these pants? Yeah, you can take those pants. The gauntlet was always getting sold. This was always getting sold. The wisdom, that can go. There's a lot of good stuff here. I just wanna I just wanna note. What do you got going on here? You got crit and momentum. Yeah, that's better than that. These all can go. Ooh, I see something I'm excited about. That helps out a great deal. For now, just to get their mobility up. I, I think spear is important, though. So we're going to keep looking for... Like, a 2 AP spear would be a pretty a pretty solid get. I, I, wanted, I wanted Rundova to go gauntlet. Does this make them gauntlet worthy? If I put this here, we'll leave Metal of Don't Move on the side for the moment. But this makes their skill range is 8. Exactly. So if we buy a gauntlet for them. Do we have... I want a sweet gauntlet. I want a level 5 gauntlet. Sword and Shield is pretty classic, for sure. God, we're sitting on an AP here. You have 2 skill range and Shower of Blows, but I'm enjoying Shower of Blows. You have collateral damage. You're going to kill one of my other heroes. And I'm not super thrilled about it. You, 7 AP, that, that definitely could get replaced. Put that there, I guess. This gets sold. We have offhands too. That offhand isn't very good though. Okay, so let's see. I think with that done, so we have like 300 bucks. I do need to, I do have some repairs I need to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna repair the structures too. I don't, I don't know if we're doing another ring around. Leaving a bunch of mountains behind feels, feels sad, but... What can you do? Oh, yeah, I did want mana wells, didn't I? So right now, the only place I can tuck a mana well is up here. Who needs it more? Geralt? Eh, I guess Geralt needs it more. We'll do that. That is a good call, though. All right, let's, let's give this a roll. Oh, hello. It is nice. It's not it's not that necessary. 2 AP 2 propagation bounces. That's a lot of propagation bounces. How many propagation bounces are we sitting on at the person that I want to turn into a propagation hero? Are they're already at 8. <laughs> they're already at 8 skill range and 8 propagation bounces and 3 multi hit. Um Oh my. Okay. So I guess we don't need that. Well, the, the 2 AP is really good on it though, isn't it? We could trade one multi-hit for 2 AP. Yeah, I guess we do that. 
basically all our money. That means I don't get a spear? Uh, we can go a night without a spear. And I think getting you up to nine is good. Hey! Ming, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Gauntlet doesn't seem like a great addition. I don't know. With eight skill range and eight propagate, I think it's 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 sleeper not the worst thing in the world. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be with a hand crossbow, so. You know, I, I don't know if that changes uh, changes your opinion, but okay. So we have our we have our momentum hero who currently has basically no momentum abilities except for the mithril swords primary, which is still still something. Uh, they're at two hundred and eighty percent healing received in four skill range. That's that's passable. We'll put them we'll put them on a side by themselves and see how they how they solo, and then. Serafina's feeling pretty good. You're feeling pretty good. I guess you're going to go, like, I guess in this corner. You can go in this corner. You can go kind of, like, over here. I think we have relatively good coverage. Now, the mountains do decay, right? I haven't I haven't tested this in a while. But I, I presume the mountains do also decay. Although next time we're going to have better things to use them for anyways. Yeah, they do decay. Goodbye, mountains. They also block line of sight, so I don't like leaving them around. Okay, so let's see. Let's get you tucked in here a little more. You tucked in here a little more. You're over here. You're over here. Okay, I think we're we're relatively in in good stead. So we'll uh, we'll react as we go. And this will probably also be the last night of the run. Do you lose if all heroes die? Or could the right amount of ballistas and traps save the day? You do lose if all your heroes die. So you got to keep them inside. All right, night number 10. Here we go. Okay, that is a... One of those situations where I'm like, can I actually see all of the things that need to be seen? The answer is for sure no. Okay, so. So we got one here. Whole lot of none here, none here, one here, one here. Okay, so you're gonna. You're gonna do that and then come over to here. How hard are you hitting? Okay, you're hitting. You're hitting for numbers. So let's see, we got nothing here. You're taking care of this one. We got we need someone to come over here and do this, I guess. Just poke those guys down a little bit. I mean, we can probably also slow them up, right? Well, this guy's not making it into the haven, and this guy is. All right, I won't do that then. And... Wait, so we got this one here. We got this one here. We got this one here. Oh, I haven't done anything over here. Hold on. How many mist sensors can I target all at the same time? Oh, hold on. If I move back one and one, one, two, three, four. I could have, I have more miss sensors in targeting range than I have AP to target them with. Fantastic. All right. I'll scoot over this way. Uh, one less tile. So now I can get you, get you. Uh, I'll just do that. What? Okay, we have two over here, so we're going to need a little bit more help. Serafina can come over. All 
right, these two, these two should be able to handle that. That shouldn't be a problem. And then you've got this one on lockdown. Just to... Just to make things a little easier over there, I'll do that. And then as much as possible, if if I can, just so that wrenches are not thrown into the works, I'll stand you actually next to it. You two got that one. Somehow this one didn't, this this sensor didn't get killed. That's 13 HP. Sounds great. You... If you stand here, you get two perfect guard procs. So we'll do that. All right, and then just in case I made any errors, everybody gets their defenses up and we're ready to go. Didn't they call it the crypt uh, because it's a city founded on a cemetery? Oh, I, I think it's I think it's meant to be the tomb of the archivist, right? Like that's that's the whole like throne angle. But yeah, I don't know actually. Hold on. What button am I pushing for this R this time? All right, and then I think. So this is our this is our first opportunity to see how the how the poison does. So we'll do something like that. Now you. Who's getting which one? I think you're getting you're getting this one. So let me do like a little bit of a, this type of thing, and then okay. And then you can get your last teleport out this way, and you have one AP left over to stop this bulky this boomer. Well, you would, except for the fact that this shieldy dude is in the way. Uh, not cool. Okay, so let's let's get tossing you. Oops, let's toss you more correctly. Got some your next procs there. Hilarious. Fantastic. Okay, then call action pot you and also Oh, there's no way we're gonna get that there, unfortunately. Well, this guy's just barely making it in. That's the way that we like it to be. So you can just move back. Okay, so then over here, I think you're just gonna walk like this and I think what's the best way to kill this this uh this ripper it's probably it's probably a blaze how many propagate bounces do you have just the three it's still probably the most damage we can do well is it more than just three of these why not maybe three of these is better all right and then i don't really love the idea of getting double teamed by them so I am going to teleport inside and then you just do that this guy's making it to our walls so he needs to be less alive by 20% okay there we go and then I think that's pretty much it okay Does the poison still slow them? Uh, are you referring to slow death? Yeah, slow death has a minus movement effect to it. It gives minus two movement and some amount of poison. All right, let's watch. Let's watch to see how much this does. We gained back twelve HP. That is not enough. That is that is less than enough, huh? If you had told me that we that we would only heal 12 HP off of that, I think I would have uh, 
I would have not been very pleased with, with what was going on. Hmm. Seraphina's range is horrifying. Oh, do you think it was because I was only missing 12 HP? Not not because there was a... Uh... That, that sounds very reasonable. Okay, he'll walk in. That's fine. Now you, my, my blood mage, I want to get you over on this side. Again, we slow you down, but we let you come in. Then you... So I want to get you over here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put you in the center here. I'm not quite ready to take a boomer to the, to the knee on this one. So maybe we'll go like that, and then... Okay, that, that gets you in a good place. You're gonna... Bop that guy, and then this, this guy does need to take some damage. That'll work. Okay, you're not coming in. You're fine. These guys are okay. Okay. I think we've got our Blood Mage into a good position to take some damage, which is what we want. We want Perfect Guard to start popping off. So let's let's see how much they, that does. Oh, wait. Oh, collateral. Oh, yeah, wait. Hold on. We I forgot. We have collateral hits that we need to confirm. So whenever an enemy dodges. Okay, so we need to... Is our accuracy... It's pretty high. Okay, we need to find someone that, that can dodge. But I think for now, these two should probably be like slightly separated. But other than that, I think we're good. Okay. Okay, so let's let's start spending some let's start spending some resources on you. Okay, we took some damage there. That's good. I guess that's gonna that's gonna help us figure out how uh, how much healing we get. We're not really uh, boomer-proof quite yet. Certainly is a lesson that we just learned there. Do we have legendary here? Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's let's get some legendary procs here. Without multi-hit, it's a little hard to to make it super. to get too much value out of it. And then if I put you on the corner here.
All right, this guy's going. This guy's going too far. So we gotta slow him down. Ripper wasn't really an intended kill target there, but. Okay, and then we got so many boomers here. The first two are both making it, so if I... If I do that, not making it, not making it, not making it. Okay, that, that solves that problem. What about this guy? Oh, we got this guy too. Tisk tisk. There we go. Now he's not making it. Okay, the Ripper here, I think, is... Is a goner. You're... So who are you poisonousing right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six targets. That's decent. We do have to make sure we don't kill all of them so that we... So we actually get the value out of it, which is kind of awkward. Like, leaving stuff up for seemingly no reason it doesn't feel great. Uh, and then we're, we're one short here. It's not worth the teleport. I don't think we need it. Seraphina needs some skill range. Someone remind me to get some Seraphina some skill range. All right. And uh, maybe instead we walk around to here. Seems relatively safe. Yeah. Nar no Narnian rippers coming out of a left field. Uh, the, does the poison trigger after... No, so it should... When I hit end turn, the poison should apply. Then the poison should tick. Then the enemies should move. Then the ballistas fire. Let's check. Okay, there we go. Yep. Confirmed. Healed basically nothing. Just want to just wanna point out. I guess we need a lot more. My corner! My corner! Healed for 44 from six enemies. That is not enough. That ain't it, Chief. And since we don't have Vampire, we don't have any, uh, any, like, aftermarket healing. So largely, I don't know. We're gonna, we need a lot more action to make that work. All right, let's, let's clean this side up just because I think it's gonna be a little more straightforward than that other side. Let's see, that's going to kill, I think, all of you, including you. Okay, let's do this with just regular wand shots, since I think the, the chain reaction we don't need. Yeah, organic armor does, that is correct. Uh, there might be... We might need it, but I'm just, I'm surprised by, like... I thought that was a decent amount of of enemies that we were getting next to. And like it just goes to show how much better vampire is unfortunately. Like right now I'm like I should leave enemies alive so that so that I can get healing from them, which doesn't feel particularly optimal.
But so, so here's the thing, right? The toxic leech range is slightly larger than the poisonous range. It's one tile, it's two tiles bigger. I don't think you're going to get that much more healing out of it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We got we got people over here. Let's do do some cleanup over here. We have boom, so we need to be a little bit a little bit careful about what we do. Deeply saddened. Oh, come on, really? Does, uh, does Boom blow up corpse piles? No, it does not. Okay, good to know. Now this this boomer needs to be slowed down. Now you you are contributing no, you're not contributing to our poisonous healing, so I will ice ya. Anybody out in the wings that needs taken care of? Ugh, the blockers are annoying. Oh, there's another blocker in the way? What the heck? All right. Well, we get there. We're at... We're at 100% minus 60% accuracy. Feels good. Uh, I don't really want to spend an, an AP on that. Now, you guys are going to give me a tiny bit of healing over there. Uh, and I left all of you up specifically so that you could give us a bit of healing. Do you have any AP left? You do. Let's get rid of that. Okay. I think we're I think we're fine. You could use your other hero's slow death to increase the healing. I could, yes. That's that's a that's a thought. It's a lot of micromanagement when uh when vampires you just uh you just kill things and get back health. <laughs> it's it seems slightly less optimal, but maybe maybe once we get like get a little bit more, and I guess I'm just gonna be oh yeah, doing doing this doesn't get me any regeneration. That's the thing that's weird about this particular build, is it's like okay, I can kill a bunch of stuff. But I'm not getting any regen from it. Which I am not used to. So if I stand here, I can do that, that. Wow, those were those were not the not the crits in the places that I thought they would be. This is Seraphina again. Seraphina is just... I don't know what Seraphina needs, but it's definitely something. Well, so I... I mean, that's kind of the direction I was going, EMF. Like, so I... My, my thinking was that I wanted... I You know, like, obviously I didn't build towards, like, you know, insanely high block values, because that's... 
that's going to hamper their top end, potentially. Did I say get fogged? Is that a is that an insult that we're using these days? Geralt gets to get into action. I don't see you use bows. Are they uh, good in, in places? Bows are, bows are kind of a tough one. Uh, I, I think that the that bows as a general rule of thumb are not among the strongest, so I don't often use bows. Uh, except hand crossbow, obviously. Ranged weapons in general. We've talked about this before, but like there's there's definitely some some issues with uh, with ranged weapons and the fact that their their bonus is so kind of middling. What's what's going on with these here? This is a new bug. I don't think I've seen the tile still glowing bug. That's an interesting one. But I I moved over here so that hopefully we can get a little bit of healing off and I guess we can all, we also have a, a health potion that we can use. Yeah, Taunt would be really cool. That was one of my my wishes for something that they were going to add with the DLC. I was kind of hoping that they would add some type of manipulation capability. I'd also love to see the ability to move uh, move enemies. That might be a little exploitable, but I think it could also be super fun. Thoughts on two-handed shield? I think it's really good. I'm kind of hoping the one that we're building right now kind of pops off. Because they can be very fun. We've got, we've got good numbers going on here. I don't want to. I don't want to sell the numbers short. Like our our blood mage, I think once we get them a proper build is going to be pretty pretty solid. Pretty pretty solid. I I mean I'd love to also see enemies move you. Like I I want I want that one to cut both ways, which is always a dangerous thing to wish for. If darkest dungeon has taught me anything. It can be quite risky asking for the enemies to get new capabilities like that, because it can uh, it can end poorly for you. job there. So if y monsters use dwarf house on you, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I think it could be pretty hilarious. Okay, we'll do that. You'll make it in next turn. This guy's wandering in quite slowly. Oh yeah, we were gonna we're gonna come over this way to get a bit of health. Also, look at that. Rocking about a hundred health off of that without without too much uh, attention or effort. Also, how much daily health regen do we have on you? Ninety-five. Oh, never mind. We're we're totally fine. 
I'll give you one, but then I'm also going to bring you around to take the other one. There we go. What's what's going on here? Mostly is doing some heavy lifting. What was what was the mostly? There's too much there's too much chat going on right now. The the ballista versus the hand crossbows. All right. We have we have exited the stage left. Do you feel like sniper builds like bow and rifle are pointless? Uh, they, they just don't hit enough targets. I think that's the issue, uh, Elminster, from my perspective. Like, the game is, is very much all about, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna chill and we're not gonna push back the fog on this turn. And, uh, this will be the point where we break until tomorrow, but I do want to do the production phase now. So we will, we will do a little bit of that. Radbert, few more, few more move. Remember when Radbert had no movement? Oh, how far we've come. Good stuff. Serafina picks up BGH. Love to see it. I said skill range. I said it was all about the skill range. So let's grab the AP, because AP is AP. And let's roll ourselves into nothing. Then you... You're in danger of capping on on uh, on mana. You you don't mind the crit. I'll grab that for you. And then, is it too late for experience gain? Oh, always and also at the same time, never. All right. So we got we got twelve full workers to grab. So again, for science purpose, I'm going to grab. I'm gonna grab three items because I want to see what their levels look like. So, okay, right off the bat, all fives, fours and fives. So at this point, it I, I do not think it behooves us to put workers into our, into our production buildings. And it is only worth, uh, it's worth getting mountains for with the workers primarily until we're out of mountains because more gear is just more gear and we want to see more gear we have two left over though and we will put those into our trinkets are quite strong right now i kind of feel like our armor is a little a little weak sauce now are we at the point i think we're we're one more push back of the fog away from being able to build our last production building so We'll grab one of these. So wait, Elements are asked, uh, being able to move uh, move many heroes around is so nice, and AoEs are important. Also, the longer range you're attacking with ranged weapons, higher accuracy multiplier. Wait, that was Abigail that asked, that said that. Okay. Whew. All right, let's see. So we're going to do... We're going to do better walls on these sides, which may be all we have the budget for material-wise. We'll see. We can at least wrap it around a little bit. Get the corners. All right. We got the corners. All right. So we have... We have two... No, we've used up our workers. We have a million items to collect. So let's start doing that. Yikes. Thanks, Magic Shop. You really nailed it. <laughs> Armor, health, health, health. We're not going to use any of these, so just selling that for 91 is good. 35% healing received. We might grab that. Uh, we do have a lot of heroes that could really use a mana crystal, though. Like, we can use a mana crystal for one night, 
and fix a lot of things. Great axe with multi-hit. All I've ever wanted. Stoneheart shield. Every four enemies killed plus six block. Up to 30. It sells for more, so I'll grab that over the pants. Mainly, I think we're, we're looking at sell price more than anything here. And I think if, if we get above 70, I think it's worth just gr grabbing it and locking it in. It's a nice shield for our uh, for our blood mageish hero. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of uh, a lot of cannons. I'm, I'm not missing them too much. Not that there's anything wrong with cannons. I just you know they don't uh, they don't blow my socks off. Let's see. The Devil's Greaves aren't bad. Uh, we're probably... are We do we, we don't have anyone that's going to use them, though. We're, th that's part of it is that we're just like... At this point, we're searching for a needle in the, haysta in the haystack for, like, every item that we're, uh, that we're finding. We want those multi-hits. We want all the goodies. I, I think it definitely would. Uh... Seven of Hearts, yeah. the The idea of of uh, of poisonous having a larger radius, the the speed at which the number of targets increases as radius increases is like it, it melts your brain. Uh, don't move. We got one of those. We got a Baron Cape. Did we confirm that that collateral damage is, is garbage here? I just find it super hard to utilize. Like I'm I'm kind of sitting here and I'm like, I I can't make my hero miss very easily. Another shower of blows is pretty eh. Definitely grab a warp crystal. Multi hit on a staff. Hilarious. Ah, uh, Battle Mage. It, it hit that 70 rung that I was looking for it to. Steel Helm is pretty good. I think it might be for one of our momentum heroes. Yeah, it's fine. Another Shower of Blows. I think I already saw that one. Nope. Those can't be the same shower of blows. I think there's two shower of blows mixed in here. 60. We'll take the 60. There's a pinned message for me to see in Twitch chat. Alden Potamus. Uh, Dev has confirmed that collateral damage uses AP is indeed a mistake. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Illustrious. Look at that, pinned messages. What a what a world. I don't think I've ever seen a pinned message before. Thank you. So now, yes, confirmed. F tier times a thousand. But apparently it will be getting better. At some point it will stop killing your heroes and costing you AP. What a what a world we live in. Okay, let's put a roll here. Oh, it's the gauntlet that I wanted. Maybe. It was a tome, but it wasn't a good tome. Whew. All right. We just... That was a lot of gear that we just collected. Um, so let's see. So I am indeed... I think it is time for... 
where the, where the heck is uh, is Rundavara? All right, so Rundavara is getting a gauntlet. It's happening. They they are look at how oh my god look how big the gauntlet renders on them. Holy cow. Okay. Oh, Seraphine is working with level one gear too. Okay. So there's there's a lot of things that that Seraphina could could be helped with. A lot of things we could work on. Okay. Let's let's sell some of this stuff. Hey, G Gino. I'm I'm gonna say subscribed with Prime. Thank you so much. Okay, what's what is what is some stuff that we just know is getting sold? I don't I don't know that that's getting sold. This was getting sold. This was getting sold. This was getting sold. 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 Okay, don't move. I think we already have we already have a don't move with multi hit on it, so we don't need that one. Hold on. Oops, I just accidentally equipped it. Okay, we know that it's using up the AP, so I can get rid of those two. Collateral damage, bad. Whew. I also wanted skill range on someone. I did want skill range on someone. You you are correct about that. It's it's Serafina needs some skill range. She has zero skill range at the moment. So we'll try and find her something. So then I think I don't think this is a shield build. I'm going to go sword spear for the time being. I'm going to sell that better hand crossbow for Serafina. Also happens to put them at 5 multi hit. Good. Okay, and then for now, Blood Mage is going to get the healing received there. That's that's the plan for the moment. Then I think we take this off. No, Seraphina doesn't need the who who needs whose mana is in dire straits. Nobody really. Okay, so Mana Crystal can just sit over there for the time being. Now, Condensed Hate is the one that I wanted on our Blood Mage. Where's Condensed Hate? There we go. Condensed Hate. Gives them some poison, gives them some accuracy. Kettle Helm gets sold. Now, this... There's no reason not to just put that on someone. Rundavara has a lot of mana, so that, that can work. You, for now, can take that, I guess. Okay, that gets sold. Do we like this? I mean, better better than that, that's for sure. Does anyone need this wand? The, the, the item management is getting a little painful. We can still use more offhands, that's for sure. So, two movement, I would be trading it for 9% damage, 9 block. Yeah, you don't have any block, Geralt. Let's do that. You become a little less mobile, but I think that's okay. We did indeed have an extra offhand sitting around down there, so take that as well. Now, I saved this. Two propagation bounces and a multi-hit. I kind of feel like someone can use this. What are your propagation bounces, Serafina? So what, what are we losing here? We're losing... Oh, this has 30% poison. Which could be interesting over here, but I, I like condensed hate. Yeah, it, there's you need a lot of both of it. Oh my god. Okay, so so this I think I can sell because I have right now two other I don't think I need to float more than two multi hit. Are we getting another hero right now? We probably should, right? 
It's probably time. We have so much multi-hit. What, uh, is there a build we want to make work? What are we not representing? Danica's 600 gold. Hold on. Why not? Why not, Danica? You have you have good stuff going on. I don't think I ever recruited a hero for 600 gold. That might be a that might be a new record. <laughs> Look how big that gauntlet is on uh, on Rundavara, by the way. Okay, what are what can we build you? Oh, you have Vampire Blood Mage. But I think Vampire Blood Mage does better with Spiky Counter than with Bodybuilder. I mean, it's still very good. I mean, more Blood Mages. They do have sang they would have Sanguine Fuel. Uh, after this production phase, Abigail. Yeah, I think after this one, we're gonna we're gonna take a pause. We got we got no. I mean, we can go coagulation. I don't, of of the options. Uh, maybe quick reload is better. And then we don't really want nimbleness. I'm a little sad we don't have spiky. Spiky, we could. Maybe we grab that and then no, we're not gonna go flexibility. Explosive hemoglobin's good, sheer power is good, and then I guess like legendary. Uh the gauntlet is not great, Andre. It it it's passable. You can you can sometimes make it work, but it could be an okay momentum. We already have our momentum blood mage. I think I'm just gonna go straight like vampire blood mage on this one. Looks pretty decent. Oh, we have we have energized too. So we drop that for that. Yeah, actually this this looks pretty good. Okay, let's let's go for it. Sanguine Fuel. Might as well take Bodybuilder. Oh, yeah, because we don't have Organic Armor, but we could pick it up. Yeah. I think this is good. Let's see. Damage versus Health is a tough choice. I think, I think Damage. Crit, I don't think we I don't think we mess with. We don't care too much about block. Just get a little bit of a health pool. I'm not I'm not gonna go crazy with it. We do need some movement. Get some resistance is good. A little bit of block. We'll be getting some more, but. We need one hit of accuracy. Everybody needs to be mobile. Or I would like everyone to be mobile, at least. Okay, and then what are we... For secondary stats, we want some healing received for sure. The momentum might not have been terrible. Some skill range is good.
Have a good night, Sam. You won't be missing much, and we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow. First healing receive we found. Very late in the game. We're getting a lot of dribs and drabs of healing received in the second half here. It's not not amazing. I I blew through our uh, I blew through our our rolls a little aggressively. Never seen so many rare rolls of resistance in your life. Yeah, it's... the advanced training. What can I say? All right, so let's see. So now we have another another hero to gear. Uh, did you, Danica, do you have, you don't have big game hunter. Nice. Okay. So we can, we can potentially toss a big game hunter on you and then maybe like a multi-hit type of thing to start with. Which of these do we like more? These are so incredibly similar. Holy cow. The boot has momentum on it though. So I guess I'll do that. Okay. And then... We haven't even started rolling for gear. This will be our standard, uh... This is our standard spear dagger, I think, build. So we're looking for, like, two spears, I think. We don't have anything else to get gear-wise. Yeah, so we're... Do we have anything? Do we sell anything that now we don't want to sell? Like the steel great axe. The shield might not be a terrible... I'll take the great axe. I'm not I'm not a big great axe fan. This this chess piece isn't terrible. Better better than what we're working with, obviously. But I think a spear is is really what's up. The shield is fine, but I th I think we can do better with our with our in rerolls. Crit Master, ooh, Crit Master, we need to buy, because we have that, we have that one, our XP hero, hold on, where are you, Rune Devara does not have Crit Master, and uh, their crit is also kind of, kind of terrible, oh, and we switched them over to Propagation, hmm, okay, that was, that was not a good buy, never mind, I, th I got excited, I got excited, okay, Great Dagger, to get us going. We need that. Where are the spears at? This is getting insane. It's a nice steel sword, but I, I think the sword that we have is okay. Yeah, advanced training is, is off the charts strong. I've been... I've been... Pledging allegiance to uh, to it for for as long as as I have been, as long as I've had it, it's been it's been top tier. Okay, action potion. Thank you. Another crit mastery. Hilarious. Inertia. It's it's interesting, but I don't think we can do it. I'm thinking about picking up this spear just as like a a good enough. Yeah, I'll grab it. Okay. So let's see. So let's see. So then you've already got your spear. I think you're going spear. You going spear dagger? That means this. Maybe we go great axe here. Let's see. And then who else? You're pretty mobile. I guess you are the one who still needs a teleport. 
So we'll sell all these. The the spear was a bad buy for sure, but that's okay. Spear dagger is shockingly good. Spear dagger is exceptionally good. Okay. So, I mean, I think we're in a good place. Did, does any of this stuff improve Danica, who is our, our final blood mage? We got no dwarven blood mages, but that's, that's kind of the way the cookie crumbles. And then does anyone... I was thinking we could give you the magic crystal. Mana collector would be an amazing... Uh... Well, let's, let's roll this one more time. See if we can get something actually spicy. Okay, we did not get anything spicy. I could sell a few of these things, like Crit Master, I think, and Don't Move are not going to be that important for us. Maybe also these lower level ones of these and this, just to clear things up, and then... Did anything, does anything jump out as being, I kind of want just another warp scroll. I think everyone has a warp scroll. Offhand crossbow isn't bad either. Like offhand crossbow could go here. Almost everyone has a warp scroll. I'd like to get, so I'd like to get the warp scroll, but I think I can get both. Okay. So I think we're I think we're pretty we're in pretty decent shape. This night is always a little bit of a a little bit of a mess just cuz the like basically what's going to happen is this entire side is going to fill plus a little bit of wrap around, but we have pushed it back a little which I think will help. So what are our teams? I think you're going to go I think you're going to go crazy. I think Rune Devara is going to be an absolute monster. Wait, I just thought of something. Did we really not want a crit medallion, a crit master medallion on on them? Like right now they're sitting at two multi hit, eight propagation and eight skill range. With eight propagation, they're still gonna crit a fairly large amount of the time and we can continue to bump their crit up. The problem is we'd lose two prop bounces. And two action points. Yeah, it's it's not enough. We'll look for a better crit master amulet maybe for them. But so I think you're gonna do well. And we'll give you you and then Serafina, who still has no skill range, right? Yeah. We could We could steal a trinket with skill range. Like shower of blows on Serafina. What does that put your skill range at? Six? Yeah, that might be worth it. So Serafina drops this for Shower of Blows. But she doesn't have Perseverance. But I think I think that's fine. Shower of Blows will still be good on her, and now she has some skill range, which is gonna make her a lot more flexible. So yeah, so we'll put these three over here, and then it's gonna be Blood Mage, Geralt, and Momentum over here. Does that? Is that a good set? I think Serafina goes over here and Geralt comes over here. And then we put like Geralt here, put you here, and put you in the middle. It's, it's all mysteries. We don't know what the next night will hold. <laughs> uh, it only shows tier one enemy types, I believe, which I think means this night has no tier one enemies, incidentally. But we could grab a stout. We could also grab this shield. The shield sucks. Never mind. Uh, don't grab the shield. Whatever you do, don't grab the shield. We could grab this chest piece. Does anyone need... Is this better for you? Nah, your, yours has healing received. How much healing received do we have now? Time to upgrade the seer. 
The seer now always reveals the exact enemy list of incoming enemies as well as quantity. Isn't that only if you use... Doesn't, doesn't this give you a skill? I haven't done this upgrade in forever. Ah, we can do it, just for fun. Okay. Yeah, so confirmed. I think that, that is exactly what, uh, what I said it was. So they are all tier two or above. Okay, that'll be a fun round next turn. We got a bunch of hunters coming in. But uh, but that's gonna do it for us for today. This was a this is a great first day of Elderlect. I think we're we're set up for success. Uh, but we'll be back tomorrow playing it some more. The uh, the base building the base builder stuff we're gonna continue to improve. But uh, as in Lustrous has shared, the links are there for you. So, uh, so if you are so inclined, join the Discord. Would love to have you. Uh, if you're on, if you're in Twitch World, come on over to YouTube and toss a sub. If you're in YouTube World, come on over to Twitch World and toss a follow. Uh, other than that, the uh, the new reliability mug exists and it's looking pretty darn good. It's mostly all readable, which is amazing. And uh, yeah. There's, there's other merch there as well if you are so inclined. But yeah, thank you to everybody. Uh, special thanks to uh, to Seven of Hearts for the uh, for the sub, to Handy Tech for the Prime, to Quan Gino for the uh, for the Prime also. Sorry if I got your name wrong. And uh, yeah, thank you to everybody who participated, hung out, etc.